getting real out here, y'all. <laughs> and they got a lockbox on our door. They, the they put the lockbox on our door. Wow. That means it's getting real, guys. Getting We're leaving here. <laughs> guys it is monday um uh week three of the countdown i don't really know exactly i don't know what he's doing i don't know i don't have plans but i know that something had to get done today so like always come along let's get this thing moving shalom and we're, we're looking for it's little wood slabs and we're looking forward to use as dividers and the dressers instead of paying 19 dollars for four separators we're just going to use something like this to cut to size and to put in the dressers to separate, to make sections so everything can be neat. So that's what we're here looking for. That the kids are getting, it's not in yet, but it's supposed to be in today. So I looked on the website and I looked at the height of that dresser, the inside of the drawers, and it's about six inches high. And I wanted to, I want my dividers to go all the way up so none of the clothes um, spill over into the next section so this is my best bet with the five and five and it's only 347 and it's two feet long so I can definitely probably get two uses out of each board so we're just gonna start out with a $20 budget and we're gonna get what five of those so we got the boards now we're just gonna wait on the dresser to come in. I'm gonna use my husband's saw and we're gonna get this done. Let's, see, let's go straight. I'm gonna see if I can try let go. Hold his hand correctly, please. Right now, what we're doing is we just came back from the store. We got a couple things that we needed, but we're taking this sunny day to get the kids out of the house, but to get something done. So we are cleaning her up she has not been clean since we had it unfortunately and you have to take care of the things that abia gives you no matter how rusty no matter how rusty she may be she gets us to point a to point b with our avengers so we want to keep it clean because cleanliness is next to godliness right guys so that's what we're doing we're taking some client time to get her clean and Kids love playing with bubbles anyway, so it's a win-win. They'll wash the truck. They decided that they need to wash their bikes. Is it getting clean, Peter? What? Jay, is your truck, is your bike getting clean? Yep. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, I gotta finish this outside. Hmm. Then you need to do the outside. Well, we're gonna do the, we're gonna take a break and eat lunch. <laughs> we got the uh, outside as clean as I'm gonna get it. Um. Got the kids clothes drying because they were extremely wet. But now we're gonna try to tackle this inside. I think the mats are dry. I have to get this windshield. I mean, I did good for a pregnant old lady. All right, let's tackle the inside. With the water hose and some soap, pretty much. We got the kids mat cleaned, but I am gonna have to. I was gonna, I'm gonna have to order another one of these backings because it. I, the kids put their stuff like their tablets in them, but Noah has kicked this one so much. It's time to get a new one, so I'll go on Amazon and order more of these, and then I'm just gonna have somebody else clean these seats. But that's probably the next round. Right now, they'll be okay. But everything is pretty much clean. Yay! Take some time to spot clean the seats. I just got a little soap of any of, of any of, of your choice. I'm not gonna tell what kind I use because I'm not sponsored. But 
I do strongly believe when you see like, of course kids are going to get things dirty, but when you see like little spots from like water, juice, applesauce, whatever, when you take the time to clean the car, just go on ahead and take a microfiber towel, go on ahead and just take a little of the soap and a little and just wipe it up because it'll really help keep it from ever getting out of hand. Everything is dried. You see some of, most of those spots are gone. I have a few there, but I'm not gonna hit, I'm not gonna worry about it. I can only do so much. I went ahead and put their seat covers for their car seats back in. And now I'm gonna wash their car seats, car seats out. So they're in the house. I'm gonna go ahead and order this. I will put the link below of um, where I get it from. It's on Amazon, but I'll put the link below. But for the most part, the truck is cleaned out and ready for some more adventure. All right, so the cars are clean. The kids' dresses came in, but it's time to get back to the garage and see if we can make some sense of this. It's Tuesday, and so far we have gotten up and we have pretty much posted everything in the living room. The TV is getting sold today. Hopefully the chairs and the couch I started on some laundry and the TV stand is sold. So we're going to start working on this dresser so that we can start bringing the kids clothes down. I did go ahead and get some wood pieces to make their dividers. It was much cheaper. Hopefully it's easier to do it this way, but we'll see. So we're trying to put this dresser together and it is broken. So still can't get this done. Let's see if we can send it back. Six hours later, we finally got this dresser put together. Um, I'm not gonna say I recommend this dresser if you don't wanna put every single piece together by yourself. I feel like I designed this dresser as much as I had to do every single part, okay? Yes, I marked it up, but that's, and it came cracked, but they did go ahead and give me uh, most of my money back. So I'm just gonna seal this on the inside and we're just gonna call it a day. I might seal this side and sand it, but I really don't wanna fool with it. I just don't want it to come apart. I just want it to stay functional. But dressers up literally six hours later. So what I did was I went on ahead and put some putty here just to give it more, more of a hold, hold on the crack um, on the big part. And I put just a little bit on the outside and I kind of just wiped off the outside. So it's a whole crack there, but the dresser is really sturdy. I really just didn't feel like packing this back up, shipping it back and uh, it's heavy. And I don't feel like shipping it back, nor, so they, like I said, they did give me most of my money back. So I'm happy, I'm not gonna complain. So now what we need to do is get some dividers in these dressers so that we can um, get their clothes in there. Now what I'm doing is I'm taking this board, which I got for like $3.50 at Lowe's, and I'm trying to make dividers so that all of their clothes I have its own place. So I'm thinking of making this, their underwear and socks, so they'll have three equal parts and each child will have clothes drawer of their own. So I'm gonna go outside and we're gonna measure this and saw this to fit. Hopefully it fits and it matches perfectly actually, I think. Give you guys an idea. I got dad to cut some of these up and 
it's gluing, it's um, drying, but I just, I mean, the glue look a little tacky, but it's gonna be closed here. Um, and we just cut it, I just measured it, and we just cut it with a saw. It's a little crooked, but we're not worried mm. about that. I know that they got enough space for all of their shirts. Two rows of shirts rolled, and two rows of, or one whole row of like shorts or um, pants rolled up, of course, tightly for each child. That's just gonna have to work because I mean, we're living small and we gotta do things a little different. So, and it was much cheaper than buying all of those dividers. Hey guys, good morning, Abogatov. It is Wednesday and today we just wanna get some stuff done. Um, <gasps> don't know exactly what we're gonna get done. Well, we still got another week, but uh, we're gonna get something done. So, stay tuned. Hey. I'm still going to work on it took me all day yesterday to get this dresser put together but it is done and I'm going to work on clearing out their closet getting all their shirts in their pants and shorts organized in the closet I mean in the drawers I totally forgot that they need somewhere for these pajamas but we're not gonna worry about that we'll figure that out later and then the tv is finally sold and it's gone so that's that on that. Hopefully we can get at least the other two chairs sold today. And yep. So, okay, let's get started. gotten done with the closet today we put all of her the reason why there's still stuff in here is because i don't want everything all over the house when the rv gets here we'll move stuff on over but we put all of her bowls here which we'll put on the top of her stand when we get in the rv in their room these are the items that are going to go hung up but that's about all that can probably fit hung up in the rv these are all their shoes that we kept um so far i need to get her another a pair of tennis shoes but we'll get that because he has a play pair and he has a play pair, but she doesn't have a play pair of tennis shoes. They also have all have play pair of sandals. I'm just picky like that. His Crocs are downstairs and his boots, rain boots are downstairs, so he still has them. Um, the crib is going to get sold. So until then, Noah, until we move out, Noah's going to sleep on the cot, which he loves. He thinks it's fun. Once the RV gets here and we get everything out, we still got to take this down. Granddaddy drew that for Jeremiah. But we have to wipe all these walls down, clean the baseboards and everything. So we'll get to them. But we did accomplish something today. Um, I'll show you guys what their dresser looks like at this point with fitting all of their shorts, skirts, pants, and shirts in there. So let's go look. Basically, the most high things are moving mighty fast. The brown chair is now sold. It is now sitting there. The guy's on his way to pick it up. Hey, it looks like we're moving. <laughs> okay, to give you an idea of what their drawer dresser is looking like, these are they all have a drawer a piece, um, and this is like their pants and bottoms. This is top, so that's how that's working. So I'm still folding all their stuff up, putting in here, but and then they all have the top drawer, which is just like underwear. Oh, I'm ashy, but it's okay. Underwear, undershirts, and socks. So that's how that goes. If it gets too full, they have too much. So that's how we're gonna work that out. I do have to find a place for pajamas. Um, they're keeping four to five sets a piece. Other than that, they're just sleeping. You can wear this one pair of pajamas, uh, you know, um, two nights in a row. So that's how we're gonna try to work that out. I think for Jeremiah hats, then that this dresser does did come with a crack in it. I'm thinking about putting a couple of hooks right there 
to help hold some of his hats. He said he wanted to start collecting hats. So I think that'd be a cute accent to hide that. I posted this for sale. It just sold. So I guess I need to take my TV off and clear it. So before I start on the kids closet, take a quick break and get this cleared off. Okay, so I really need to work on this closet. I don't have a lot of clothes. I just don't because I'm always downsizing. I'm always rebuying. But all these shoes can't go. And he needs to get started because he don't even wear half these clothes. So, Operation Clean Mommy and Daddy's Closet. So, they came by and this house is, you know, what, week in four days three days this is no longer our residence it is so real out here guys they even put a for rent sign it's real it's been a long journey but we almost there and you better believe after this this journey is not over it's just beginning it's like sometimes you ask i'll be i'll be uh, god to allow you to grow allow you to grow in him and in your faith and all that but you also gotta be careful what you ask for so with me saying that i'll say but hey gaskin went out yesterday i was at chick-fil-a and me and the kids were going by walmart and it started running hot call hubby he looked at it i lifted a walmart he came and looked at it I pick it off work, head gasket. So don't ask how much that's costing. It's hundreds, I'm gonna say. I'm just gonna leave it at that. It's hundreds of dollars. So now we're supposed to move the RV to the new location, the home spot, um, Monday, the 15th. He called the shop. It's gonna take three to five day turnaround time to get the something, some part done that my hubby needs to actually finish fixing I and mean, i guess the head gasket is in the motor i don't know but it's a three to five day turnaround time so that means we were going to bring the rv back here and load her up but now we can't because it's not going to be ready to drive but this is where you say am i going to freak out or am i going to let abia take care of us because we're his children and we're in his house and when i say we're in his house i mean we're following his law statutes and commandments honestly in our hearts to the best way that we know how until we learn more because there's levels to this walk and being that i know in my heart that i'm doing the best i can to follow his laws and to be his amazing daughter and to do what he asked me to do i have to have faith that he's gonna take care of this truck he's gonna take care of the head gasket and the finances because no we don't have all the savings we're supposed to have to make this journey work but we're out here you know we're out here so she's down for now so blessedly mom has a car and i don't have to go anywhere i don't have a lot place to go that mama don't already have to go so hopefully we'll wait and see when she gets fixed but i want to tell you know god thank you in advance because you got this. So I'm going to take care of my part and make sure my children stay in order. I stay in order as a wife, a servant, as a daughter, as a mom. And you got the rest because this is your kingdom. This is just a truck. That's nothing compared to all this you have created. Oh, praises. Can I get an amen, guys? All praises.
It is Friday morning. I got up and I did a wash and go tutorial. I will leave the link to that video below and at the end of this video. Shalom guys, it is Friday, which means it's what, Jeremiah? Uh, Friday. Friday means it's what? Almost Saturday. Shabbat prep day. Are you want to say hey? Hi. So we are headed to the spot where our RVs will, pretty much the home base for our RVs for the next six months to finalize like the water and the utilities. utilities. So that's what we're headed to do. And then we're gonna go by the store, get some stuff for Shabbat. And we'll just take you along with the rest of the day. So it's still Friday and I got sick while we were out. So daddy's downstairs jamming because he's, just, he's cleaning for Shabbat prep or patching holes. I got sick, so I'm gonna lay down. And I'll see you guys when I get back up. All right, so I think I'll try to get up and get something done before I'm so sorry guys I guess I'll try to get up and get something done before Shabbat starts I am so drained I don't think I don't know if it's the heat I don't know if I got like dehydrated I don't know what happened but yeah I didn't get too far before mom had to bring me back <sighs> alright let's get something done up and I'm going to try to tackle the bottom part of this bathroom that under the sink. It's not like a mess but we already have a box and stuff and everything can't go so let's just get this over with at this point. Okay, so so far I've got this cleared out. These are just my nose strips I'll use within the next week. I'll raise a read to just small items I don't want to lose so I'll just look it there for now. And then, you know, <laughs> you need your edges brush. That's lame. I'm getting more braids Sunday, so I might need that. And then I usually go over their nails once a week, so I left that there. And then I cleared that out. I left those two brushes, but I need, I need to get that out. And some cleaning products. Other than that, that's all cleared out. Woo! While I was cleaning the bathroom, I found more of my polish. So I figured this is a great time to clean out my nail box. So I went ahead and threw stuff away that I didn't need. So I'm going to try to get organized, go through some of the gel polishes and see which ones I don't use at all and um, clear it out and get it all back sorted and neat. After we got done cleaning up, we all got ready for Sabbath. We had a great meal and we just rested in the most high so there is actually no more footage at this point but that was our week for the countdown thank you guys for watching don't forget to like share subscribe if you want to support us definitely head over to our patreon page see what that's all about and don't forget to follow us on instagram